How's it going, everybody? Welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to be talking about Poland um, and specifically the Christmas market. Now, I have done a German Christmas market video, which I will put like right up here for you so you can watch that next. Um, but I've also always been fascinated with the Christmas markets. I've loved them. They're beautiful. They're just fun and exciting and just always a good time. I've never been to one. But I've been to like Christmas stuff like this and I've always enjoyed myself. So let's check it out. Morning, happy travelers. Greetings from Wrocław, Poland. Wrocław. We're working on it. It's really hard. <laughs> Yesterday we arrived in Poland after a very long couple days of travel. Today is our first full day and this city looks very cool. We're staying in the Old Town area, which is definitely the tourist part, but it's also the most charming where all the old architecture and history is. And it's where the Christmas market is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We kind of wild away the morning a little bit just because we're still battling jet lag, but we're about to go head out and explore the Christmas market. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. We're staying in an apartment hotel building called Odstranska Hotel or something like that. I can't pronounce it. We booked, we booked it through, through Airbnb. Airbnb. It was, it was 81, 81 US dollars a night. night. Which is, which is a little, a little bit, bit more expensive, expensive than we had hoped, hoped but, but it is it right, right in the middle, middle of the old town, town so, so it's a perfect, perfect location. location. That definitely sounds about about right in the price around here anyway. And we can walk to the Christmas markets. Those are cool. Some of the buildings in this square date back to the 13th century. During World War II, some of the buildings were damaged, but they all remained standing and were repaired. So this whole square is pretty much how it would have looked in the 1200s, which is pretty crazy. Wow. Little troll. So all over Wrocław, there are tons of these little bronze gnome statues, which are pretty cute. There's like over 400 of them. They're actually a tribute to the Orange Alternative, which was an anti-communist group in the 80s. So this group would deface Face all the all communist, communist propaganda, propaganda and, and write these little, little dwarf sketches. sketches. So in order, so in order to, to celebrate, celebrate that, that group and the resistance towards communism, communism Local, local artists, artists have put up all, up all these little dwarfs, and they're and all, all over the city. city. There's, There's like maps and tours that you can go and follow, follow all of them, but, but it's really, really neat to just kind of walk around and see Wow. It's like a mythical scavenger hunt. Yeah, a little bit. But... <laughs> That's pretty cool. So essentially what a European Christmas market is, a collection of stalls and some rides and bars and things where they sell all kinds of local foods and hand And all sorts of yummy stuff. I'm not sure if I told you guys that, um... Yeah, a lot of people say that the Poland Christmas market is by far the best, um, the best Christmas market in Europe. Um, and I always thought, and I was always told, Germany had the best Christmas market. So if any of you all know or have like a favorite, let me know down in the comments. I would love to know what you guys think about this. Handicrafts wine and they play christmas music and it's just festive af so i love it of course <laughs> So right now we're just enjoying taking tons of photos and videos because this place is pretty photogenic. But I'm getting kind of hungry. I think we might get a little nibble. The type of stuff that you'll find in this Christmas market anyway are kielbasa sausages, waffles, Yum. lots of fried stuff, of course, lots of bread. Yep. <laughs> Sounds good to me. <laughs> So as Kelly said, there's tons of food and drink available at these Christmas markets, but probably the most popular and, in my opinion, the best has got to be the mulled wine. So you have to pay a deposit for the mug, which you can get back once you return. All 
All right. So that sign behind him looks like it says CBD. Uh, it looks like a marijuana. That has to be. Huh. I wonder what that is advertising. Also, let me know down in the comments about that if, it, if anybody knows what that says. Turn the mug, or if you want to keep it, that's only totally That's cute. Here it is 15 PLN, which is about four bucks or so, and it's the same price for the wine. For about three or four bucks, you get a nice hot spiced mold wine. Oh, Not bad. So good too. There's these little bars that are all over the market square, like one on every corner. Definitely cool. Um, this is sleepy. I'm not sure. They're dwarves, right? And snow are dwarves and gnomes the no, same thing? No, these are dwarves. Is what they're supposed to be. These are dwarves. Yeah. What's the difference? I was literally wondering the same exact thing. I don't know, but like, I wonder if they have something like Snow White and the Seven Dwarves. Um, that definitely, that does look like Sleepy though from Snow White. So she definitely guessed good on that. If you know, let me know. <laughs> and it, it has officially started snowing. I gotta tell you, it is cold, 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 cold here. So down jackets, gloves, hats, all kinds of layers. It's very cold. One of the foods that Kevin wanted to try is this smoked cheese with like a cranberry topping. Ooh. Ostepec. I'm totally butchering that, I think. <laughs> They're just laughing at my Polish. We might be getting bacon on this one. I'm not sure. What? Are those biscuits? Like Little. I like bacon. <laughs> Wow. That is such a tiny serving, but looks very, very interesting. <laughs> I'll say that. ordered one and we got four. One of them has bacon on them. She only charges for the bacon one. So it was seven zwati, which is less than $2 for five of these. Wow. So she said these were gratis, which means complimentary or free, which was very nice of her. I think she saw our camera and also realized that we didn't understand a word she was saying, so <laughs> took a little pity on us. So what this is, I believe, is like a smoked cheese from the mountains that they do with like a cranberry sauce. Let's give it a shot. It's definitely smoky. I don't, it, I feel like it's, I guess this whole thing is cheese, but it kind of is like a potato-y kind of, I don't know. It's really hard to describe. Good though. Manhandle it. Mmm, it's good. I like it. It's like salty, but the cranberry jam is sweet. I'll eat this again. Okay. That is so beautiful. Oh, yeah. That right there is what I was thinking. Uh, Snow White and the Seven Doors, I'm guessing is what this one is. Snow White. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven doors. That, oops. That one looks kind of weird. I don't know. Oh, no. Okay. Snow White. It's Kolo. Kolevna. Kolevna. Oh boy. This is tough. So it's after 4 p.m. and it is properly snowing now. In Poland in December, about 3.30, it starts to get dark. So there's a lot of nighttime. We stay oh, wow. waiting for those smoked cheese things to cook for quite a long time. So I'm sorry, I just... We stayed waiting for those smoked cheese things to cook. I couldn't help but notice the guy behind with the black and white stripes. Um, and then the guy beside him, I guess. Um, 
Those look like jail suits. Um, which is kind of funny. For quite a long time, Had to tell you. So we weren't moving, so we got really cold. So we're going to walk back to our room, thaw out, and then probably come back out to get some dinner. We're heading back to our room, too. I'm really curious to see how cold it is exactly there. Um... But I know in Sweden, I know that is really cold and they have a lot of dark nights. So I would imagine Poland would be about the same, if I'm thinking correctly. Thaw for a little while. That's one of the nice things about staying in the old town. Is it's only a couple minutes walk to our room. Yeah, it literally took us like three minutes to yeah. walk back here. I nice. I warm up for a little bit and then get some dinner and head back out there. It's actually amazing how much warmer you feel when you're sitting there drinking hot mulled wine. So you just do that all night? Actually took <laughs> a lot longer to warm up than we anticipated. And it was really hard to get out of the apartment. But now we're now going we're to get, get some, some dinner. dinner. No. So there's all sorts of different restaurants that you can go to in this town. So we decided to do Indian and found this really nice. Mama says life is good. Food made with love. That's sweet. That kind of looks like the Starbucks logo. Hmm, interesting. This place called Mango Mama. Come all the way to Poland to get Indian food. You can find anything pretty much in the tourist area, any kind of food that you want. We probably should actually get some Polish food at some point. Oh my god. So the Indian food was okay. It was a cute place though. Actually, Wrocław has a lot of cute cafes and bars and stuff that we've seen. We're heading back to the Christmas market. We have about an hour before it closes so we can get maybe one more mulled wine and another waffle maybe. The one in Wrocław starts, starts at 10 a.m. every day, day, so you can, so you come, can come all day, all day if you want, want but, but I think, I think there's, there's something, something magical, magical about, about it when, when it's, it's all lit up. up. And, it's, and snowing, it's snowing, of course, of course so, that's so that's just crazy, crazy magical. magical. It's like everybody else seems like they're just walking around like it's just a normal thing. They're used to it. And then there's them. <laughs> That's funny. It is so magical out here. Snow and the lights and the sounds and the smells. <laughs> I'm a little festive. Mold wine, you say? I second that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so just to let you know that we're not terrible travelers we do usually try to learn a couple phrases or at least a couple you guys better hit like and subscribe on her channel <laughs> words in the local language but <laughs> polish is really hard we're trying with a little google translate but it's it's really hard i'd say it's even harder than icelandic if you can believe that Almost every corner of um, this big square, square where the market is, they have, they have this bar where you, bar where you can just get these small wines. Each, Each of them are kind of different. different. This, this one's, one's like a like windmill. One, one, one was, was like three stories, three stories tall. tall. So it's kind of cool to go around, around each different, different one. one. And, and at, at every, every bar, bar there's areas, areas that kind of shelter you a little bit. There's kind of bars. It's nice to be able to get out of snow. Those are so cute. Like, I wonder if they come as, like, a little souvenir. I would love one of those. That is adorable. The clock has literally struck 9 o'clock, which means the Christmas market is donezo for tonight. Yeah, all the vendors have boarded up and are headed home. We sincerely hope you enjoyed our Christmas market video, since that was the whole purpose of this trip in the first place. And we do have some awesome adventures coming up in Poland beyond Christmas market, so... Yeah, I think we'll be here another, like, 10 days or something, yeah, so yeah, it's something a pretty like long that. trip. If you're not subscribed, go ahead and hit that, hit that subscribe, subscribe button, button so you don't miss those adventures. adventures. We will see you in our next video. This is Kelly and Kelly Kevin, Kevin from the Aqua Tours. Peace out. Peace out.
Hey, uh... It is as nice as we've seen it in Poland so far, and I suspect this is the nicest weather we're going to get on this trip. That is awesome. I'm going to be checking out more of uh, the Christmas markets because, honestly, I thought it was just a thing uh for Ger for germany i didn't i had no idea that poland had a christmas market or anybody else but i'm definitely wanting to do more reactions on those um so i could get a little bit more festive too get in the christmas spirit but yeah let me know what you guys think in the comments down below um the link to this video will be down into the description so if you guys want to check out their page um, and while you're down there, hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on any in coming videos. So thank you guys. Bye.